Welcome to Nerdstalker. This is Adolfo Ferranda here with the review of the Bic Tech Stylus 2-in-1 pen. Um, so here I am opening the pen uh, that comes in this nifty little uh, case or whatever this thing is, packaging, right? There's the back of the pen uh, describing what this thing's all about. Lightweight stylus for capacitive touchscreen devices, including tablets and smartphones. And uh, here I am ripping this thing open. It comes in multiple different colors. This one seems to be like a blue type of color. You'll see inside there's like a coiled metallic spring in there, which I believe gives it the capacitive uh, feel. And there's also this is to make it an actual working functioning pen where you can actually write on paper and um, and it works like a like a good old solid big pen, right? So here I am opening it up just to uh, show you what's uh, inside what this thing's takes. So you know your typical pen cartridge type of thing from Bic and so here I am uh, closing up the pen again easy to close like your typical Bic pen here's the uh, stylus portion little rubber nub thing the uh, clip uh, may or may not get in your way depending on I found it to be uh, no problem for me and uh, So now I'm going to use the uh, stylus on my iPad 1. Uh, I'm going to use the button, the on-screen keyboard, all kinds of stuff, this slider here. As you can see, everything is, I was surprised how responsive um, the stylus is. I've had um, pretty bad luck with these type of styluses in the past. Um, this thing is ridiculous um, responsive. Um, so here's a piano application. And although you don't, you see all the shadows here, although you don't hear the audio right now, um, it is you can see how responsive it truly is all the keys being pressed exactly so the top part there or the pen part there is the non-capacitive part so you'll notice it doesn't respond but it will respond when you are using the blue portion the colored portion of the pen and that's the way it's designed to function so um, kind of nifty how they got that working like that and uh, optimal uh, UI, uh, user experience there so I'm opening an application a kids uh, drawing and painting application just to show uh, with a blank canvas, things like uh, painting, drawing, the spray paint option, multiple colors, uh, paint brushes, that kind of thing, and how it would work with this, perhaps a note pick taking uh, application. Uh, so yeah, there's my test. Sorry for my handwriting. <laughs> uh, so selecting different types of brushes, spray can, uh, pencil, crayon, colors, slider, example. Uh, incredibly responsive, as I said very lightweight so, yeah so uh here i am an example of uh, uh taking notes here very responsive as you can see so i can imagine using this with like an evernote or some sort of meeting application um right now i'm just showing an example of how to switch to, uh, select different type of uh like spray can paintbrush pencil options as you can see how incredibly responsive this thing is Quite good. Slider options, switching applications. Here's an Adobe application. Uh, not the most responsive application for kind of uh, loading up. I believe it's a PDF type of thing. And um, so right here, I'm just showing an example of like slider and transitioning between articles and pages and scrolling. Um, now this uh, PDF tends to load like... Um, so yeah, here I am scrolling. Again, this stuff's loading some other weird stuff in the background so there's a little bit of lag there it's the iPad uh, here's a good example of just some solid scrolling as you can see it's made to go page by page so and uh, the stylus works perfectly uh, if I haven't mentioned it's incredibly light so you really don't notice it all that much in your hands uh, at all so I could see myself using this for long periods of time again closing applications opening applications here I'm gonna do a um, Google search. So swiping between pages, very responsive. Uh, just to demonstrate the on-screen keyboard. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, the keyboard comes up. We're doing our search for uh, Bic. Typing works fine, buttons respond, screen keyboard works perfect, as expected. Close the application. I'm going to show you the capacitive spring inside. You see this little coil piece of metal there? That's what gives it the capacitive effect on the uh, pen. Uh, the pen, nice uh, side um, activator for just the pen itself there. 
instead of on the top of the pen, of course, which was reserved for the stylus. So all in all, if we give it a, th a nerd stalker thumbs up and do recommend that you uh, give it a go, the Bic stylus two-in-one pen. Thanks for watching this nerd stalker review.